Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, where you can see great games played badly. I'm John and this is Rising Star 2. Before we jump into things, please do give us a like and a subscribe if you like the episode and you want to see more. Now, last episode we got halfway through our uh, tour of, you know, England and Wales. Um, we did reasonably well. We've made ourselves a fair pile of cash. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rush through this week of, of gigs. Um, let's have a look. So we've got a day to practice, so we definitely want to practice our uh, amazing new song. Um, and in fact, we'll practice a whole bunch of them. And then we'll go and do these gigs, and we will come back at the end of the week and see where we are. Well, here we are at the end of the week. We are at the Newcastle Theatre. It's our last gig. Um, we've been getting around 50% for, for the gig so far. We've been using this, um, this set list. Um, so we'll just, we'll just go ahead and see how this goes. Uh, we've sold quite a few t-shirts, quite a few of the CDs. Um, we've been playing, uh, playing to not quite packed out houses. Um, about this attendance, 2,400, 2,800, that kind of uh, number. And we got 49% again, so not too bad. Um, the popularity of some of our songs is really going through the roof. Um, we sold another 61 t-shirts, another 33 copies of our album. Yeah, so we're doing alright. We're doing alright. So if we have a look at... Uh, we finished the Another Tour. Um, so if you have a look at our song list again, um, Bigger Than Cheese's remix is at 14 popularity, and By Our CD is at 12. Um, yeah, all of our other songs are slowly creeping up. Uh, our best song has only just been busted out, so that's that's really, we need to, uh, we need to build that up. But let's drive home. Um, how do I get out of Newcastle? Here we go. Yeah, so let's drive home to Bristol and consider our next move. Oh, it, it's climbed again. It's up and down like... I'm not going to say what it's up and down like. You can fill in the uh, the metaphor yourself. Um, yeah, let, let's just go straight home. Let's, let's think about what we're going to do, because... Obviously, we could think about... Uh, recording another album. But if we look at our song list, where are we? Here we are. We've only really got five songs currently that we'd want to put on. Um, everything else below that is kind of yeah, yeah, 20 or below quality, and we don't really want to mess around with that kind of rubbish. We're a quality band now. Uh, but let's have a look, see if we can write another song maybe. Um, it doesn't look entirely hopeful. No, no, I don't think we can. Not that's worth writing, anyway. Let's have a look. We could get... 10, 15, another 10, but that leaves us with... Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. Okay, we'll just practice what we've got, and then we'll... Do a few more gigs, I think. Let's let's get. Oh, no, we don't want uh, that. We want the manager. We want John to find us some more gigs, um, and we'll stick with the same kind of. Actually, we'll we'll increase it by uh, fifty miles. Let's see what we can get there, uh, and we'll practice up, and we'll uh, we'll see what John comes up with. Right. Let's see what John has got for us. A gig in Paris. Six songs. 1,960 quid. 2,500 capacity. Yeah, definitely. We'll go for that. Uh, Chloe Chafin Theatre again. We've played there before. Another six song set list. Two and a half grand. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany Laporte in Southampton. Yeah. Bristol Theatre. Yeah. 
nine song set list for that one. Another nine song set list. Nine song set list. Words are hard. Um, in Newport, uh, the Deep Bone. I have no comment to make at this time. Uh, in Rouen, uh, 153 quid. Uh, no. Uh, Sheffield, nine songs, 350 quid again. It's not great, is it? No. Uh, Le Mans, six songs for 100 quid. Well, we do need to build our reputation. Let's just say yes to them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Don't care, yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, thanks, John. Cheers. Um, product endorsements, please. Right. So he is 100% satisfied with us because we are the best band in the world. Let's look. We have a gig on Friday, Saturday... Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. That's not bad. Now, we do have to remember... Do we have to remember something? We don't have to remember anything, do we? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Okay, we need to record and release a CD after the December the 27th. And before February the 4th. So, we will remember to do that. We did need to remember something. My brain worked. Ha <laughs> ha, victory. Now, let's... Oh no, not Helen, you're terrible. Let's repair some stuff. Got most of it done. Um, right, when's our gig? Our next gig is on Friday, isn't it? In uh, Le Mans. So, I will practice up our set list uh, and we will come back for that gig. Okay, here we are in Le Mans, in The Weird Rice. Uh, we have a six-song set list, um, so we're just going to go for our best songs, really. Uh, we might knacker them out, but what the hell. We're a rock band, that's what we're supposed to do. Bonjour Le Mans. Okay, we've increased uh, some uh, play skill and some... Um, stage presence, but, I mean, it wasn't a great gig. We sold some stuff, we got some money, but, eh, never mind. Let's go on to our next gig, which is in Amiens. The ill error. Well, let's just let's just get a chauffeur. It's fine. Okay, I think this is another six song set list. Yeah, so we'll stick with the same one. As you can tell, I'm not putting a lot of effort into these little gigs. Um, they're literally just a way to kind of build our name and get some reputation in different cities. Uh, yeah, 40%. Could be worse. Sold out crowd. Sold t-shirts. Sold everything. Yeah. Okay, what I'll do then is I will... Let's have a look. Okay, I will play through until our gig at uh, The Wrong Island uh, in Beitun, I think it's pronounced. I keep checking and I keep forgetting. Uh, I think it's Beitoun, or something like that. Uh, but I will uh, play through until we get to there, and we'll see if we're uh, at any point inspired enough to write some new songs. Because uh, we need to build up a, a decent track list so we can record this CD in December. Uh, so I will do that, and then I will come back. Well, here we are in Beitoun in France. Uh, we have a six song set list to play, so we're going to go for um, not quite our best songs. Um, we're missing out Junk in the Trunk and Take Me to Your Dealer in preference for Bigger Than Jesus the Remix, because that's a religion song, and they like religion songs at the moment. So, let's go. Okay, 
Okay, still on four times speed, so we'll get through this fairly quickly. Ah, uh, yeah, Helen is doing the jumping up and jumping down. Okay, not great gig, but we did knacker them out, so that works. Uh, increased popularity of one of our songs. Didn't see it sell much, unfortunately. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, they wanted to exert more energy on that last song, but they didn't have it. But never mind. Not to worry. Everyone is inspired. Uh, I have managed to write uh, a couple more songs. So let's go home and have a look at those. Oh, no, I did want to drive to Bristol. Come on. There we go. Okay, oh. Back up to 910. Still earning money off of the CD. That's nice. Uh, let's go straight home. Uh, yes, so we did manage to write two more songs, I think. Let me have a look. Uh, yeah, Hook, Line and Sinker, um, which is about drug addiction, and Chalice in Wonderland, which is about religion. Uh, we have been sort of practicing them up, but let's uh, do another day's worth of practice. Uh, and then let's see if we can use this inspiration to write ourselves another song. It doesn't look hopeful. Um, hmm. Well, we can get 40 straight off with the melody and the riff that we've got, but can we use... Well, not going to be great lyrics, but that does give us a 61, which is decent. Okay, and it's about religion again. So we will call this one... We'll call this one On Your Knees. Okay. And now I think we need to get our manager. We can't get another... Okay, no. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to basically record another album, aren't we? Um... So we've got eight tracks there. Right, we are going to need to do more gigging in order to uh, increase our inspiration, get more songs uh, written. We need at least two more songs, basically. Two more good songs. So I will get John to find us some gigs. Or do we do another tour? Let's do another tour, but let us change things around a little bit. Hmm. Let's start in Edinburgh. Uh, and we'll call this the Random Tour. Uh, choose areas to limit tour. We'll go for England. We will go for, where are you? Northern Ireland. We will go for Scotland. We will. No, we won't. We'll go for Northern Ireland and Scotland. Shall we? Yes, we will. Uh, we are supporting um, Hilarious Gun. Or they are supporting us. I'm not entirely sure which way round that is. But let's get him on that. And in the meantime, we'll practice. Okay, John has managed to book us a tour, so let's have a look at where we're going. Uh, it's only six dates. Um, we got the Zealous Feather in Edinburgh, the Frantic Weapon in Dundee, the Gleaming Sneeze in Aberdeen, the Salty Twist in Glasgow, Hannah's Bar in Derry, and the Scary Winter in Belfast. Um, yep, that's our full tour setup. So, uh, I will practice up and bring us back for... Um, blitzing through the tour. Well, we're at Edinburgh for our first gig of the uh, random tour. Um, nine song set list, so we're going for this one. We're putting in uh, Hook, Line and Sinker, which is one of our new songs. Uh, and we're putting in Chalice in Wonderland, which is also one of our new songs. So, let's see how this goes. It's not a huge gig, only 650 people. But it seems to be going reasonably well. Ooh, that wiped them out. Just in time for the slow song to bring it back. 
Ooh, that might not have got the uh, attention it deserved, that last one. Uh, we have sold out of t-shirts, again. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we're, we're wearing them out a bit too much, so we're going to need, if we're going to do a nine song set list, we're going to need to take out another one of those high energy songs and replace it with another medium, I think. So, let's have a look. I mean, any of these that aren't particularly doing well, bigger than cheeses, mm, that should be doing better. Um, we'll have a look. We'll have a look for the next gig. Uh, but we do need to buy Al more drumsticks. Okay, we're at Dundee, the frantic weapon. Um, I have put in Bluetooth Blues, um, which is our second best medium um, song. Uh, and I've arranged it like this. So we've got a high energy, medium, too high, medium, high, low, me uh, high, high. So as you can see, you don't need me to explain it for you. Uh, my thinking is that we want them to have as much energy as possible by the end, so we don't want to wear them out uh, in the middle too much. But let's see how that plans out. Hello Dundee, please don't stab us. Okay, that Bluetooth Blues might have been in a bit early. But energy-wise we're doing well, and interest level we're doing very well. Yeah, 73%, so that worked, definitely. Uh, forgot to buy t-shirts. Yeah, that went well. Uh, that's a good a good set list. So our next gig uh, is in Aberdeen, so we'll see you there. Well, Aberdeen, are you ready for us? Because here we come. Yeah, looks like actually that's not a bad setup. It keeps their energy sort of fairly close to the middle. 82%, yeah, very happy. Uh, still forgot to buy t-shirts. I will definitely do that. I will definitely, definitely do that. Okay, we got five smiley faces for both Hand Me The Nails and Bigger Than Cheese's remix. Yeah, they really like religion songs at the moment. Okay, uh, we don't have a gig uh, until Saturday, uh, and that's in Glasgow. So I will actually, I think I'll find us a hotel and we'll stop here for the night and then we'll, uh, come on, okay, so yeah, this is going to be a great room. Oh, actually, it's not bad. That's pretty reasonable for 38 quid a night, I'll be honest. Um, can we write a song? Uh, no, we've got a couple of bits and pieces we can grab. Um, might be worth grabbing that. But we won't bother writing a song. Uh, I will come back for the next gig. Well, I hope Glasgow's ready for us. Uh, it's only a six song set list, um, but I'm going to try putting in two medium song, uh, medium uh, energy songs to see if we can balance out the uh, energy a bit going through. So I will slow this down to two times speed rather than four so we can actually get some idea of what's happening. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's scrubbing off a lot of their energy, the, those high energy songs, so that's brought them back up. That's not bad. Okay, yeah, now I'm happy that worked. That definitely worked. Uh, and I did buy t-shirts, and we managed to sell some, which is nice. Okay, so yeah, pretty, pretty popular at the moment. We're doing all right. So our next gig, I think, is in Derry. Um, so we might as well go back to Bristol. Uh, and I'll catch up with you uh, at the gig in Derry. Our first gig in Northern Ireland, uh, Derry, Hannah's Bar. Uh, and we're going to go for the same nine song set list that did us pretty well last time. So. Information Superhighway to Hell to start with. Uh, 
it's a tiny, tiny little place, this, as you can probably tell by the camera angles. We're, we're, we're a lot closer to the band than we normally are. Okay, but we're doing alright. We're doing alright. That's bringing the uh, energy back up. Had to take a photo of that. Okay, 74. 75%. Just managed to tick over to 75%. That's pretty good. Uh, slow night at the merchandise counter. Yeah, we sold one CD and one T-shirt. But there are only 90 people in the audience, so... You know. Okay, and now we just need to go straight to... Belfast? Yeah, Belfast. Uh, where our final gig of the tour is. Um, we'll just get chauffeured straight there. Nobody needs anything, so... We'll go straight in and we'll do... Our final gig. Hello. Don't want to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, nine song set list, so we'll stick with the same one. And it's 450 people in attendance for this gig, which is a bit better. Uh, as you can see, I have increased their uh, stage presence a little bit every time they've been levelling up recently. Uh, except Al. I mean, Al's a drummer. He doesn't need stage presence, does he? Okay, so we'll be up to 55% currently. Oh, yeah, brilliant. This is going to be another very high-scoring uh, gig. 79%. Nice way to end a tour. Uh, 14 t-shirts, 3 copies of the CD. That's fine. Uh, and yeah, they love us. Look at this. This is great. This is the best we've been. So we finish the tour. We will go home to Bristol. I forgot where we lived for a second there. We'll go home to Bristol. And we will think about our next move. Uh, let's go straight home. Right. Now, if we look at our song list. Um, there we go. So... We have eight songs that we could realistically put on a um, CD, uh, all over uh, quality 40, which is great. Uh, we still need to practice um, this one. So we're going to need two more songs. Hmm. I don't know if we can actually put together two more songs, but we can give it a go. Ooh, hello. 25. That's quite nice. Um... We've got ten there. We can put a... Yeah, we're not going to get any melodies, though, are we? Uh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Um, right, okay, well, let's ditch you and save you. I wonder if we can put anything together at all. Well, maybe. Let's have a look. No, we're still stuck. No, we can't do anything there. Okay, right. This is going to be a case of uh, off-camera doing a bunch more uh, little gigs here and there. Uh, and then going on to next episode, record ourselves uh, the CD that we need to do by um, December. So that will do for this episode, I think. Um, please do give us a like if you enjoyed it and a subscribe if you would like to see more. Please do check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, leave us a comment. Uh, let me know what you think of this game. As I said, there is some element of kind of the repetitive gameplay. But it always feels like there's some kind of progression going on. You know, you're always developing. You're always getting better at writing music or performing. So there is that sense of progression. And you are getting, obviously, bigger and bigger gigs. Uh, so even though it seems like it may be kind of repetitive, it's still enjoyable. You know, it's still fun. Uh, to go through. Uh, but let me know if there's any games that you think I should check out, either in this vein or similar to the ones I'm, I'm playing on uh, my channel. Um, and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, until next time, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and goodbye. <laughs>